Shivambu, the miracle cure. This pre paperwork presented by me, Sri Anandesh Bapat, at the fifth edition of the International Conference on Traditional Medicine, Ethnomedicine, and Natural Therapies, May 22nd to 23rd, 2023, at Tokyo, Japan. The venue was in Tokyo at the Anna Crown Plaza Hotel and I did a virtual attendance. Now the actual article, I'm including the abstract here for those who wish to follow it and read it. I will go slowly, I'm not going to read right through it, we will just delay the slide for a few, for about 10-20 seconds so that you may want to read it or you can pause it and read it. The true benefits are part of the article, abstract. I'm not reading mainly because the rest of the presentation is in more detail than the abstract, but some people may be interested in reading the abstract. What I'm doing here, I compressed into a 12 to 15 minute presentation on the day of the conference. Today I'm going to expand on it a little bit more so that it gives you more insight and more details about the same topic and you can take home a lot more. We presented a few interesting cases which we felt were important to highlight the fact that Shivambu can heal people. The first case I'm presenting here is terminal liver cancer. We had a cancer sufferer on his deathbed recovering in, who recovers in one year. He was in a leading cancer hospital in Mumbai and he was told that he would have only 10 days to live and every day the doctors would come and reduce the number of days. They would say 9 days, 8 days. And the patient got frustrated and he said, what am I doing here? I'm trying to get better and all they want to do is give me my death date. He was in his late 50s, diagnosed with liver cancer and when he got frustrated, he decided to go home and live his time of a week till dying. On his way home, he got a letter on Shiva. He got a book given to him on Shivambu by a friend of his. And this person who was a bookshop owner looked at the book and felt, Oh, I've seen these books, but I've never read it. So he read it and then he implemented it. And he implemented it very seriously with great benefit. Within the week, he started changing his health and it took him a full year to recover completely. He has interesting tales about his recovery, but he has documented all the details about his Shivamu regime, about his natural therapy regime, about his fasting, etc., etc., and the changes that occurred during this period. When he recovered fully, obviously he wanted to know that he was safe and clear of cancer completely. And to check that, he went back to the same hospital where the doctors reviewed him and said, you've got a clean bill of health, you've got no cancer anymore, why are you wasting our time? Then he put forward his old records from a year ago and talked to the doctor and said, Look, I was at the same hospital, I was admitted and I was told I had 10 days to leave and these are my reports. They looked at those reports and said, yes, 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 this person does not have long to live, he cannot be surviving. And then this patient said, but that is me, I'm surviving, I'm perfectly okay, you just pronounced me free of cancer. And the doctor was not prepared to accept that story at all. He just kept saying, those must be somebody else's records. What is sad is doctors are supposed to be scientific minded and we expect them to be objective. And on a scientific objective basis, the first question that comes to mind is, so is this you? And if it is you, what did you do to change it? You didn't take our treatment, so what did you do? And the curiosity should overcome the doctor to make such inquiries. Unfortunately, that did not happen. 
I heard this man speak after his recovery with a roaring voice and a fantastic stage presence. And he was my inspiration after hearing him talk in 1994. The next case is a case of throat cancer. The cancer sufferer suddenly found that his throat was playing up and he went to his local doctor. The local doctor concerned that it could be cancer, sent him to a leading hospital in the city. He went there and the doctor said, yes, you have cancer, come back next week, we will operate and everything will be okay. He comes home dejected, depressed and he's talking to his wife and his wife says, look, go around the corner, there is this fellow who uses uh, shivambu or urine for treating people and he's getting good results. Don't be so upset. So he walks around to the local shivambu practitioner who treats him and within about 4-5 months he recovers completely. When the practitioner feels that his recovery may be complete, just for confirmation he says go back to the hospital and get a thorough check to make sure that you are completely free of cancer. So the patient obliges and goes back. Since it was only a four, four odd month period, he also happened to meet the same doctor who had advised him to come next week for operation. And he remembered the case. As soon as he saw this gentleman, he went off his rocker and insisted that you are irresponsible, you have no idea, it will have got worse, how could we do this? It's making our life difficult, we have to retest everything. So I'm going to test everything and tomorrow I want you to come with your bag, baggage and everything and we will operate and we'll get better, get you better. So the patient consented, he sent, gave all his tests, went back next day for the report and the doctor opened his file thinking it's going to be worse and how he's going to have to operate and manage him differently. When he opens his file and he sees all normal, he's shocked. And then he insists that it can't be normal because I have tested him four months ago and it was bad. So he, they generally have a second sample left behind. So he went back to the laboratory, checked it himself and then came back within an hour and said, yes, you are completely clear. Again, there was no curiosity in the sense that you have had this cancer, operation was the only option. What did you do to change your health? I just can't believe it. I'm shocked. But please tell me. This curiosity was missing in spite of claiming that we are scientific and we are open-minded. How sad. The next case is about idiopathic urticaria. Now, idiopathic urticaria sounds a fancy Latin name for something that we think is very complex. It's basically itching of unknown cause. So it could be allergic, it could be non-allergic, but there is itching. Now, this was a case of a one-year-old person who, sorry, this was a case of a person who was itching like this from the age of one and came to our attention when the patient was eight or nine years of age. And the patient used to scratch in the sleep till it bled. So it must have been quite itchy because even in your sleep to scratch like that and not be bothered with bleeding is something quite drastic. We started Shivamu with external application and it showed immediate benefit. Then we advised patient to drink and apply and the patient complied. Within six months, the patient fully recovered. No skin problem, no irritation, nothing, nothing, nothing. Again, important to note that this child who grew up with problems got fully cured practiced Shivambu for only about a year and after that has not touched Shivambu as a medicine and managed to have a completely healthy life. Magic of Shivambu, that is why I call it a miracle. The next one is a very interesting case. This person had massive skin problems, massive. When you looked at the skin, it looked like it was full of leather, as if you had taken patches of leather and applied it to the elbow, to the knees, to the ankles, etc. Now that looked shocking. And of course, he was itching all the time. Constant itching. So much so that the scratching that was happening was so involuntary that 
When I ask the patient why are you scratching, the patient says, what's scratching? I'm not scratching anywhere. So, I have three year old age urine, which we use for external application. We used it on one hand and left the other hand free. And the next day I got a phone call to say, Doc, that's working like magic, that arm on which I use the Shivambu did not itch at all all night and I'm feeling better for it. So starting point, the patient was convinced that Shivambu is going to help. Now of course at that stage we didn't know how much it was going to help. Anyway, over the course of one year, patient took internal and external Shivambu. Now external Shivambu we had to get to one fourth extract. So he collected liters and liters and boiled it down to one fourth and applied it. And lo and behold, in about a year, he was completely healed. This person was fair skinned, naturally fair, and the whole body cleared up without a single scar. His parents were immensely pleased to see that he had come back to normal. Now this is the sort of stuff that I'm talking about that is immensely beneficial to people who are suffering and it is bordering on the miraculous. Again, this patient was followed up for the next 15 years and patient has not had Shivamu since the treatment was complete. So again, for those who are worried that if you start taking Shivamu, you have to take it all your life, you must take it. It is not a must. But most people tend to practice because they get so much immense qualitative benefits that they feel that they are better off sticking to it rather than giving up. So another miraculous case of healing of skin problems. Now I'm going to talk about kidney stones and I'll say popping out because they literally pop out of the body as part of urine. Now I've collated here a few different cases all with kidney stones who have presented at different times and they have come with acute pain in the back or the pelvic area and sometimes with penile pain and a lot of times blood in urine, painful urine and blood in urine. Now the Shivambu protocol when applied, we find that within 24 hours the pain is eased a lot can be as much as 50, 60, 80% for some. And by 48 hours, the pain, the bleeding and the discomfort is nearly disappeared. And invariably during this time or sometime during the next few days, we find that the patient passes that stone. And I've had a few patients carry that stone, bring it up to us and show us, look, this was the size of the stone. It was a pain for me, but it's out now. So, kidney stones we find incredible benefits. Now we are going to talk about it further down, but just keep in mind that in spite of urine being within the body, we create kidney stones. But when Shivambu is drunk, which we believe is different from urine, then the therapeutic benefit starts. And it is mind boggling, but the facts are in front of us. The management through crisis. We have looked at people who have li lived through life crisis, whether it's death in the family, whether it is severe situations, whether somebody's health is compromised, not their own, whether they are working 16, 18, 20 hours a day, but all these things sap our energy and make us feel drained and we feel low and we feel upset and it upsets our whole life cycle. People who have been practicing Shivambu regularly find that they can overcome these hurdles much more easily. Their energy levels are good. They don't feel down and depressed. Their positivity continues. And the only attributable reason is they are practicing Shivambu. And we have observed that across a few different people. So we thought we should pass this on to you. Can we call it a miracle? I'm not sure whether we should call it a miracle, but definitely an energizing feeling that gets rid of some of these problems. Now this is about what I call ultimate preventive health. 
The title we have given to this slide is Silky Smooth Period because it's related to ladies. We have a lady who was very conscious of her health practicing true yoga, which means yoga of the highest order, scientific Surya Namaskar, Pranayam, and a Sattvic diet and a healthy lifestyle. And she used to have period pain of pain level 1 out of 5, which is on a 0 to 5 scale. 0 meaning no pain and 5 being maximum pain. Now we were all happy, content with that. I was happy with that and the lady was happy with that because it didn't bother her too much. Then she started practicing Shivambu and after 3 months she noted one morning she woke up with wet panties only to find that her periods had started and was shocked to note that the period did not cause her any discomfort at all. I'm going to repeat it, did not cause her any discomfort at all to realize that she has to go add a pad or get out of the situation. It caused her no distress and she had what she refers to as silky smooth periods and since then to date she continues to have that but what is realizing for me a big learning curve is if this is normal then we have been living with society making women suffer with so much abnormal levels of period discomfort pain cramps etc and we consider that normal so it opened my eyes to a new dimension of how healthy we can be so bottom line that the lady describes Period should be no pain, no discomfort at all. Okay, I'm going to repeat it again. No pain, no discomfort at all. So if ladies out there, if you're having those problems, and even if they are slight, there should be avenues to look at. We can maybe overcome it if I'm prepared to work towards it. But that's up to you. The last one is a traumatic injury. Finger saved after an accident. The person was a skilled craftsman working on machines and as part of his work suddenly he found he had an accidental injury which cut through the nail of his fingertip, of the little finger, cut through the nail and it was hanging by a sliver of skin. In most cases like this the doctor tries to save the fingertip and so did this doctor. He patched it up and he informed the patient that most cases the patient will lose his fingertip. The patient came along home with that and at home he was treated by my student Kapil with external Shivambu application for one week. And when he went back for review after a week, the doctor was immensely happy because he said, I think you have saved your finger. What did you do? We didn't ask what did you do. He just said, oh, your finger is saved. And he went on to save his finger. Shivambu application continued for about a month. And eventually the finger healed naturally. Today there is no scar of a cut nail. There is no scar of a cut finger. This is the beauty of what Shivambu can offer. We find these anecdotal evidences. We need to take this across to large number of people over time. To make this a proper reality for all of you. But we are sharing these specific miraculous cases just for you to open your eyes to the fact that the potential of Shivambu is immense. It can be life changing. For this person, his finger is normal again, otherwise he would have had a cut finger. And we see a lot of people in industry working on machines who have got cut fingertips. Okay, having given you some miraculous case histories to start the project and understand that Shivambu is very powerful and Shivambu is very potent and it has got miraculous results. What is this Shivambu that we are talking about? Everybody is saying Shivambu, Shivambu, Shivambu. So what is it? Shivambu is use of urine for treatment. Urine becomes Shivambu or medicine after contact with the atmosphere externally. We still don't know what are these magic ingredients that get added on. But we know because of circumstances that urine within the body does not heal the same patient. When urine is passed out, collected and drunk, which we call Shivambu, 
the patient has immense benefits whether it is an energetic level whether it is curing diseases whether it is kidney stones whether it is kidney failure whether it is cancers whether it is skin problems whatever it might be we also note that in ancient texts in india we refer to urine as mootra which is completely separate and distinct from shivambu which is you when urine is ingested it is called shivambu it is not called mootra so if they have used two different words there is most likelihood that they knew something was different now they have not made it easy for us to give us on a platter what are those ingredients that are different so we need to study that continuing on what is shivambu clinical practice to us has demonstrated its effects very clearly that it is very efficient efficient and it heals people we all know urine is sterile you can go to your local doctor or any medical allopath and talk to them and they will have to accept that urine is sterile because the books clearly state urine is sterile urine is fast food as it's filtrate of blood we call it fast food because when we eat our food as all of you know if i eat a pizza or if you eat a dosa and somebody else eats idli sambar or roti your blood does not have roti or pizza or idli sambar or vade okay your blood has got the ingredients that are useful that are extrapolated or extracted from these food items now when we drink shivambu because it's a filtrate of blood we are ingesting those same extracts directly for the body and that is why we refer to it as the fast food urine has nutrients that are in medications like today's medicines have got created mainly because they looked at the ingredients in urine and found them to be beneficial so antineoplasm urokinase fertility ingredients etc to list a few and we are going to talk a bit more about that so what is this history of shivambu you keep saying shivambu 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 what is the history Shivambu has been the heritage of Bharat for eons. The original literature on Shivambu is the Shivambu Kalpavidhi which is the 27th chapter of the Dhamma Tantra. It is a story a uh, story narrated by Lord Shiva to his consort Devi Parvati in 107 shlokas. Our study and quest for perfection in health and offering a cure for many illnesses and suffering has been culminated in the detailed study of the subject of shivambu for the past 30 plus years so you can guess that i'm talking about all this from my point of 30 plus years of experience research understanding in using shivambu as a curing modality What are some basic facets about Shivambu? Shivambu is a personal dose of medicine. Your Shivambu, my Shivambu, somebody else's Shivambu is going to be slightly different to suit my body and my needs. Its prescription is decided by nature. Now you can call it God, you can call it nature as per body's needs at that point in time. So, for example, if I have had a bad night's sleep, my Shivambu will be different. If I had a good night's sleep, my Shivambu taste and ingredients are going to be different. If I'm exhausted after 18 20 hours of work my shivambu is going to be different in taste in ingredients etc because it is compensating and giving me a protocol or a prescription for my body needs at that point in time and that is the key thing to remember it's of course completely free for everyone to use because you pass urine you use it there's no payment there's no cost it cannot be patented and marketed because each one's urine is different so how can you patent something it cannot be synthesized for every person and their diagnosis it cannot be synthesized because one the ingredients change every day the person is different and all these complex compounds and elements that are there in various mixes in your urine are based on your problems at that point in time So by the time you even diagnose what are the things we need to synthesize the body has changed and the new synthesis of shivambu has already occurred for the next day Remember every one of us has changing energy 
and health status. So we are not constant, we are in a constant state of flux, movement, change, dynamism. So whether I go to sleep, whether I'm awake, whether I'm active, whether I'm playing sports, whether I'm intellectual, whether I'm academic, whether I'm teaching, whether I'm focused, whether I'm depressed, all those conditions are going to change my energy levels, energy means my health status and the effect on the body and thus the effect on my urine which will become Shiva. Nature or God ensures the correct prescription is created for our needs every day. I'll repeat this. Nature or God ensures the correct prescription is created for our needs every day. The clinical basis of Shivam. We talked about the miracle, miraculous results which inspired my study. Its effectiveness for all illnesses whether they are excessive illnesses or deficient illnesses. What do I mean by that? Excessive as in suppose I have got high thyroid, it can be effective. Suppose I have low thyroid, it can be effective. Suppose I have high blood pressure, it can be effective. Suppose I have low blood pressure, it can be effective. Suppose I am hyperactive, it can be effective. Suppose I am low in activity and low in energy, it can be effective. So on both ends of the spectrum, whether it is excess or deficient as we call it in Chinese medicine, it has shown effectiveness for all illnesses. Its use and benefit for the normal person to maintain preventive health, the sick person to recover their health, the sufferer to reduce their suffering, the incurable to have hope of a cure, the ones without hope to rekindle their hope. So it can work at all these different levels. That doesn't mean it is going to be curing everybody or it's going to fix all problems. But it has the potential to do so if you are prepared and the time is on your side. If I'm having terrible cancer and I'm on my end stage and I've got 24 hours to leave, it is very difficult for me just to turn around and say Shivambu is going to cure you and you're going to live 50 years. But if you have come in time, say with about 20 days or 6 months to live, as for the doctors, and Shivambu interacts and changes your body and helps you heal, then you may have a long life. But the length of life is not decided by Shivambu. The length of staying healthy is decided by Shivambu. I believe we all die when we are supposed to die. That's a different philosophical thing, so we won't go there. So, the incurable diseases across spectrum offering cures for common cold, cough, fever, arthritis, painful joints, bad backs, etc. Also so-called irreversible diseases like blood pressure, diabetes, cancers, etc. have shown benefit. Now I'm not going to say everyone can be cured, but there are lots of people who have benefited. Skin conditions and severe conditions too. Thank you.